Hi Yunis, this is Marishi and my channel Sulaka. Let's see what is your situation as a man and what you need to check on me right now. Aries out there. Symbol of rising Venus. What is it that you need to hear from me right now? Aries out there. Just one last thing. Alright. Aries out there. What is it that you need to hear from me right now? Your first card is the hangman. It seems like something has come to a full stop. Okay, some of you uh, might be going through some kind of a stagnation period. Okay, something really might have. Uh, you're in limbo in regards to a situation. There is this energy about um, trying to contemplate what next? What do I do about this? How do I fix this? You are still trying to hold on to the situation. Even though things might have come to a complete full stop, it is a dead end, you are not willing to let go. Okay, there is this energy about holding on. Okay, and also uh wanting to uh figure out uh how to make it work like there is this um energy about uh analyzing even even if things have come to a full stop you are uh pretty much walking it in your head like how do i um fix this how do how do i um turn things around that kind of a thought process all right if you look at this hangman um this person who's hanging from a tree pretty much doing nothing this person's head is uh, there is a halo around his head so the head is ticking okay so you are trying to uh come up with ideas okay you are not willing to let it be all right, some of you might be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Capricorn energy. For some reason, they want me to break the deck right here. And exactly, did you see that? Ten of Swords. Was it like speaking about things have pretty much come to a dead end? Ten of Swords, Ten of Swords in the back. Like there is no way uh, this person can lift himself. So I spoke about contemplation to your Swords. So you are in this mindset about trying to decide what do I do about this? Like, you know, um, you're trying to figure um, the solution. Okay. How do I fix this? How do I revive the situation? You are not willing to let go yet. All right. Some of you might be dealing with a Gemini or a Libra. Hmm. Uh, they want me to look at this card as well. You are literally losing your sleep over the situation. Okay? And this is, this is, this is hard on you. Okay? Anyhow, Aries out there. You're stressed out. Aries out there. What is your next card, please? Your next card is Justice. Uh, you got the page of swords so it seems like um you want to make things right okay you are not giving giving up yet there is something about uh feeling trapped Okay, feeling stuck. Even though with this uh, hangman, you are stuck. Okay, there's nothing much happening right now. It is pretty much uh, in this Ten of Swords situation, dead end. Um, but then you want to fix it, make things right. But you don't know how with that Nine of Swords. You, you just, um, yeah, devastated by this situation you are in. Uh, the reason. The person whom you're dealing with might be uh, kind of a little bitch right now, 
okay they are literally in this fight mode energy like you can't approach them you might have done something to them because ten of swords could be a betrayal energy this person is pretty much in this um you know ready to fight don't come to me i'll chop your bolt <laughs> and chop your head off that kind of energy so but you want to make things right with this person okay so i feel like you might have wronged them that could be the reason why uh they're very defensive okay You want to approach this person, but you don't know uh, how to face them. Okay, they still want me to break the deck. Yes, hangman situation. You want to bring about the balance with this person. You want to fix this. You want to make uh, things right again. Okay. Some of you might be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Gemini. Or a Libra. All right, Aries. What is your next card, please? Your next card is this one. Yes, Six of Pentacles. It seems like uh, you want to initiate. Okay, you want to reach out to this person. Uh, Page of Wands is a messenger energy. Six of Pentacles. You can see one person doing, uh, you know, uh, giving. And the other person is receiving. So you are thinking about initiating. You don't want to be in this um, limbo situation anymore. You want to get out of it. You want to initiate, reach out to this person. All right. So you might be thinking about facing them. Contacting them. Some of you might be dealing with a Taurus energy. All right. Aries and the, what is your next card, please? So, uh, Six of Pentacles is in the center of your reading. So, this, this is about getting out of the stalemate situation and reaching out. I might be speaking directly to the Aries right now or uh, the cross watcher. All right? Um, or the person whom you're dealing with. From their behalf, I'm speaking. All right? So, someone, you would know which is your position if it is your story. All right? So don't come and tell me, oh, this is what they did to me. I did not. Know. All right. So this is from their end. Uh, six of Wands. Uh, there is this energy about this person uh, uh, pretty much wanting to have it their way. Okay. For us, what is an energy about, uh, you know, taking a break but wishing and praying for something to happen? Okay. I saw the Six of Wands, which is a victory success card. And then we have the Star card. So this person um, is wishing for something. Okay. They might see you as, uh, you know, as a wish fulfillment, like the dream person. Okay. And they want things to go according to the plan uh they literally want to get back to uh together okay this this is about uh, somebody thinking about reconciling with you okay yes wanting to get back together so if you might be dealing with an aquarius or a libra or a leo person okay and the magician ah uh, there is this energy which uh, I did not speak about earlier. Uh, I saw the three of cups, but I didn't want to, uh, you know, uh, put in the bad vibes there. But then they want me to speak about it. There is this energy about uh, a player energy. Uh, someone had different options or someone uh, was dealing with um, multiple people at the same time okay so it's like you have your woman at your home and then you're dealing with others okay that kind of energy is there it's it's like uh, a casanova playboy energy with with this magician coming up along with the empress and the seven of cups 
All right, earlier it came, uh, you know, they showed me the three of cups as well. Some of you might be dealing with a Gemini energy or a Scorpion energy. So this could be the reason why things have come to this, uh, you know, limbo situation. Okay, Ten of Swords situation, things, you know, because someone felt betrayed. Okay, someone was done with you because, because again, when I showed you the bitch card for me, like the person, you know, the person um, want to fight back because of what you did to them. It's, it's not like they're crazy. You're not okay with something which, uh, you know, what you've done to them and they're fighting back. You're not going to make it easy for you. Okay. Because they felt betrayed. So they're literally trying to say, you know, uh, why, why things came to this. Okay, there was a reason for it. And it is your actions. All right, there is answer. What is the next card, please? Again, the Empress is coming out, Four of Wands. Okay, Ten of Wands, Empress, okay, Number of Cards, Seven of Wands. Um, I'm just going to put these cards back in because of mul uh, multiple cards came through. Um, so, we're still trying to elaborate what I was speaking up earlier. So, I, I said uh, your woman at, is in the house, Four of Wands and the Empress. But you were dealing with multiple people. Uh, so it seems like they are in this defensive energy, being very closed off right now. And this is uh, too much. You know, it's, it's becoming overwhelming for you to deal with the situation right now. All right. Making things go your way is not going to be easy because this person uh, is not going to make it easy for you, all right? They are, they are closed off. They might have blocked you. They might have just be done with you, okay? They don't want to deal with you right now. They are not ready to patch up. It is not easy for you to reach out to them. That's what they're trying to show me here. King of Cups. You've hurt this person very, very, um, very badly. Okay. And this, this situation is stressing you out. Obviously. Again, with this Knight of Swords, you, you just don't know how to fix this because it's bad. Okay? Because there is so much conflict within this reading. It's, it's, it's just not going to be easy. Some of you might be dealing with a Leo energy, a Libra energy, Scorpion energy, Sagittarius energy, Aries energy, Gemini energy. Did I speak about everybody already? All right, Aries. What is your next card, please? I get this energy um, from the reading. Whoever is telling me your story, I just started with your reading, but it's very uh, chatty, okay? Gossipy, uh, kind of, you know? Because the cards are not coming in the spread. They want to show the backstory. They are like literally bitching about you. They're like, uh, don't, uh, uh, this person is no victim. Okay, you want to know what, what they did to this person? That kind of energy, okay? Literally um, pointing fingers at you. That, that's the kind of vibe I'm getting from this reading. I like literally shaming you, okay? Uh, Knight of Swords, fastest moving energy, okay? Communication energy. So someone, like I said, is uh, taking action. It's a very action-oriented card. Someone is deciding to uh, bring them back in uh, because 
Did I show you the two of wands? Where is the two of wands? Okay. Uh, before the two of wands, we have the king of swords and the two of swords. This is a person. Okay, I should have put this back in, uh, back, put it out. But for some reason, I just slided it back in. Uh, but they wanted me to see the page of swords again. Okay, along with the king of swords. So you um, are deciding to do the right thing. Okay, you were just manning up or just don't go with the gender. Okay, um, it could be a female as well who might have uh, betrayed your person. Uh, but king of swords and the page of swords. This is a person who has got hurt. Okay, this is a victim. This is a person who has hurt them. So this person is deciding to rush back in okay and fix it with the justice they want to make things right with this person okay they are the one who is initiating contact with this person um uh, uh two of wands because they want to manifest this person back into their life they want to fix it they want this person uh to return because eight of cups this is a person who has walked away okay because they're disappointed uh they don't want anything to do with you anymore but you are rushing back in, uh, initiating contact, making things right with them. You don't want to be in the stalemate situation anymore. All right. Uh, some of you might be dealing with a uh, Capricorn or an Aquarius person, uh, a Pisces person, a Taurus or a Gemini or an Aries person. That's all. Okay. One last card for the Aries out there. Your last card is, exactly, uh, this is the extra card in this deck. There is two extra cards in this deck. So if you look at this card up close, you want your family back in the picture. Okay, a very glant reading. Again, somebody is realizing this is the right thing to do. I need to do this. I need to get this person back in my life because we are a family. Okay, we are meant to be together. So yes, you, you can see the family in there. Huh. And the, it's the two of wands peeping. Oh, no, page of wands, all right. Uh, so this is a messenger, a messenger card, two of wands, uh, because you're manifesting, I showed it to you earlier. Queen of cups, remember I, sh I showed you the king of cups earlier? Now the Queen of Cups. You might be married with this person or it's a long-term relationship with this person. But uh, Six of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. You're deciding to reach out to this person. Get in touch with this person. Only problem is this person has been hurt. They could be defensive. If it is your mistake, you might have to try harder. Okay, don't think it's going to be easy. The moment you go there, like, oh, I was just waiting for you. I don't think so. Okay, I'm just going to break the deck and Ten of Pentacles. There is still scope for you to get back together. Okay, so they're saying, since I was speaking about it, it's not going to be easy. They're just not going to welcome you like that. They're trying to correct me. Ten of Pentacles, there is still hope there. Okay, Ten of Pentacles is just like uh, this energy. Can we have that card? Yes. Uh, you have your, there is the couple, the husband and wife. There is the grand, grandfather. Yes, there is a grandfather sitting up here. You have your two dogs. You have your children hiding in there and all the coins in there. And this card, you have your grandmother. There is a wife. There is a children. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have pets in here. Uh, there is a funny thing down there, but I'm not really sure. But yes, so it is um, the potential to have that future with this person getting back together again. Yes, uh, is it once? A page of once. So there is still scope. Okay, there is still scope. Some of you might be dealing with a Virgo energy. I wish you the very best. Aries out there. This is Marishi Yomachal Shuloka. Until next time, bye bye.